What up, though, YouTube? It's News You Lose back with another fire video. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe one time for the grind. In this video, we have yet another mass shooting. And this time, it happened in Highland Park. Okay? Now, there's been a lot of mass shooting attacks in the last five years okay I covered the one at the grocery store on this channel now we want to talk about what happened on 4th of July in Illinois okay now the title sticks out to you I grabbed my kid and ran six dead dozens injured in shooting at July 4th parade in Chicago suburb Holland Park, I want to say Illinois, police took a man into custody Monday even after a mass search in connection with the shooting rampage that left six people dead and at least 30 injured at a 4th of July parade in this affluent Chicago suburb. Law enforcement officers walk around the crime scene after a shooting at the parade at the cops walking around a police officer briefly chased robert e cremo the third as he drove five miles north of the shooting site before the arrest was made shortly before 7 p.m earlier in the day authorities had identified cremo as a person of interest and released photos of him and his silver honda fit they warned the public to shelter in place that he was likely armed and dangerous. Authorities initially said Cremo was 22, but an FBI bulletin and Cremo's social media said he was 21. This individual was believed to have been responsible for what happened, Lake County Deputy Sheriff Christopher Covey said. Video from the parade scene shows scores of people running for cover as music continued to play. Minutes after the event began at 10 a.m. local time Monday, Covey said the gunman apparently fired from a rooftop at around 10.14 a.m. after climbing there on an unsecured ladder attached to the building. A high-power rifle was recovered at the scene, he said. Lake County Coroner Jennifer Bannock said the five people killed at the parade were adults, but didn't have information on the sixth victim, who died at a hospital. Their identities were not released. One of those killed was a Mexican national, said Robert Velasco. Mexico's director of for North American Affairs. North Shore University Health System received 26 patients from the attack and 25 of them had gunshot wounds, including four or five children, said Dr. Brigham Temple, medical director for emergency preparedness. He added that 19 of the injured were treated and released. Temple also said at least 10 other patients were taken to other hospitals. Our community was terrorized by an act of violence that has shaken us to our core. Highland Park Mayor Nancy Roderick said, On the day when we came together to celebrate community and freedom, we are instead mourning the tragic loss of life. At a White House event, Monday, President Joe Biden held a moment of silence for the victims. In the statement, he said he and his wife were shocked by the senseless gun violence that has yet again brought grief to American community on this Independence Day. Despite the gun safety bill he signed June 25, there is much more to work to do. Work, work to do. There is much more work to do. He added. Okay, but you can't take away our guns. We deserve the right to bail arms. Just in case you have some problems, somebody try to harm you, okay? Even if you just go into the gun range, 
we can't control people going out doing devil acts and harming people. Okay, sometimes I feel like these things are set up. The more and more and more we get desensitized to people getting hurt with guns, the better chance they have at banning guns. You guys gotta, you gotta pay attention to what what's what they're trying to do. I grabbed my kid and ran. Holland Park home to about thirty thousand people. Is about 25 miles north of Chicago on Lake Michigan. Clothing stores, restaurants, and gift shops line this tree shaded street with brick sidewalks leading into the center of town, where a large American flag wave above caution tape and rows of police cars. Okay, I'm not going to read this whole article. Because they're talking about more police shootings and and the search. So basically, this is a tragic situation. R.I.P. Send my condolences to all of the people who lost their life. All of the people who were injured and had to go to the hospital. And all the family members. Okay? And just the whole community who had to experience this tragedy. I think there's going to be a lot more mass shootings. Okay, I don't know if they're real. I don't know if they're staged. But why would you risk climbing up a broken ladder to get to a rooftop to shoot people? When you could fall, try to get up the ladder, that'll mess up your whole plan. And then you leave the weapon... Who does that? You know what I'm saying? So, you never know if, if, if these mass shootings are real or if they're fake. But I can say one thing. The more mass shooters we see, the better chance the politicians can push to get rid of guns. The police cannot be the only one with guns. That can never happen. Plus, you know you're going to have illegal guns on the street. But I, there's a lot of people who have legal guns. So if they ban legal guns, it's going to be a whole totally different country. It's going to be like London or something. But we're going to keep track of cases if if they like this. Okay, if a case come out and it's something real big like a mass shooting, I'm going to cover it like I covered the grocery store shooting. But as I always say, I will see you guys later in the next one.